coming to the mic Talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right Taste buds, man, you're the coming All right, all right, all right How we going? What's going on, everybody? Taste buddies! Nice. All right, so how many people don't know the podcast? Okay. Wow. Thank you for coming. That's we gained amazing. one new follower. Uh, That's so how many were here at the first show? How many uh, went out at the first show? Okay, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming back. The first show was a lot of fun. It was. I hope you can follow it up. It was, uh, but let's, <laughs> let's get things moving. It's time to T-A-S-T-E, Buzz. Buzz. All right, we're here. We're uh, ready to go. We've got, a, we've got a fun battle for you guys tonight. Um, we wanted to do something related to the cruise ship, um, since we're all on one. And we will be battling... Buffet versus tasting menu. Chef's menu, chef's menu. Or chef's menu, menu yeah. You know what it is, when they, when they course it out and blah, blah, blah. Does anybody not know what a tasting or chef's menu is? Oh, good. No? Yeah, it's, like the, they, it's like the chef recommends and they give you like a tour of the menu basically in smaller bites. And you can have more and they, they choose it for you and it's like kind of a, I guess it's a prefix thing, right? Yes, but you don't know what you're Not getting. Not prefix in the general sense. You sit down. This is gonna, I'm sorry, my OCD is going off. This is going to bother me the whole time. All Anyone right. have a matchbook or a packet of sugar? <laughs> packet of sugar, packet of sugar. The, uh, all right, well, stop. I can't do it. I stop do shaking it. it. I can't do, you think I want to live like this? <laughs> Stop. I'm not going to be able to do it. All right, listen, hold on. Just because the boat is shaking, so then that's going to shake, and if that's happening throughout the whole thing, I'm only going to focus on that, and I need to win, damn it. Uh, you are not going to win because you are team tasting menu. <laughs> Don't be so sure. It's not like all these people on this boat, one of their favorite things is going to the buffet on this ship. I oh, would oh they beg, I would beg to differ. I I've was, seen some I triple mean, stops. Uh, I, I'm being this sarcastic. Ship. This is a shirt. When did you get that? Somebody gave it. To, oh, the girl that sang uh, my, "Mouth of My Money" at uh, uh, at Lipsy. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh, right on. Right. That was a great job. She gave me this. Yes, I'm loving it. Loving it. Yeah, oh. don't ever take that off. Yeah. Wear it to communions. Everything, you know. But the, uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, what I just said. You hear what I just said? I went. Oh, this is a shirt. Buddy, we got to listen. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of this table. We're yeah. just going to move it. Well, let's keep it, but fix the problem. You're a real cake and eat it too guy, aren't you? Anybody um, can... Uh, the yeah, kid, yeah, the kid that uh, screamed at me last show is offering us something. Can, you know, the, let's give it up for the people behind the crates, everybody. The crates. Yeah. What is this? Your wallet? I'm not putting you... I'm not putting you going to use your wallet. You use your wallet. I don't agree with it. All right, well... I swear well, to God, I You know thought, what? You're I a thought, wonderful guy. I thought he was handing you a hard drive. And I was like, not with those glasses, buddy. I'm not, do not how, hand me a hard drive. How would the hard drive fix this? I don't understand. It looked like he was handing you one of those portable hard drives. But what would be the sense of that? Why did you assume that? It looked like a hard drive. Guys, sound. this is my fucking job to bust his balls. If you don't know that, don't grow and just get out. Some people. Because I'm going to do it all night. Some people say it's abusive. <laughs> um, anyway. So, all right, so, yeah. So. Tasting, so listen, here's why we want to do the battle like this. It's because one thing, the buffet, you pick whatever you want, you are calling all the shots. Tasting menu, a chef is going to say, I know what's good for you, I know what you want, and I'm going to bring it to you, you need to trust me. It's two very different experiences, but both uh, are experiences that people embrace and celebrate uh, and enjoy. Yes. But before we get into it. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling about the table right now? I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling quite, quite good about the table now. Okay. You feel better? Yeah, I feel better. I feel better. Okay, good. Are are we still, there's still people that can't see us. If you can't see us, make some noise. Uh -huh. It's, again, the people uh, behind the crates east and west. Yes. In the back. But the back couldn't see us last night. You guys could see us now, right? How was your day today? You, you, know, you all could have answered that. That would have been the real answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How was your day today? Uh, I didn't leave the ship. I never, I've never left the ship ever. Yeah. Yeah, I've lived here my whole life. 
<laughs> you sounded shocked like that's what I meant. No, it's just like it's the only rest I have the is the day that you guys go to the Bahamas and I just stare from the window and go, I wish I was there. I'd like to thank uh, Six Man for the high top table with towels like it's a Cat Williams show. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. What do you think we're doing up here? <laughs> Show me peaches. That's a Louis Anderson joke. This is bothering me. The waters, I feel like the waters are blocking too much. I'm going to put oh, these down. Joe, with you hemming and hawing about the waters. Um, I just almost threw up when I bent over. <laughs> I haven't drank That's a regular today. occurrence. Yeah. That was just... I got drunk three times yesterday. <laughs> You got drunk and recouped. Drunk. It was like a NBA jam meter. Woke up at 10 a.m. for the safety lecture uh, that they told oh. me was mandatory. Yeah. Uh, went to it. They're like, buddy, you missed it. It's over. <laughs> I said, can you please just tell them I was here? They were like, please go back to your room. I was so hungover. And then I went to get breakfast. And then uh, I met a what friend. What you for breakfast? Don't skip I the I got beats. scrambled eggs. Biscuits and gravy. Really? Upcoming battle, yeah. Okay. Uh, biscuits and gravy, a uh, piece of sausage, and some bacon. All right, you had a nice hearty. I, got, I would call that hearty. Yeah, and then I got two juices. I got an apple mixed with crayon, and then I got an, I got an orange, and then I got a black coffee. But yeah, you're on vacation. It's okay. Yeah. And I couldn't carry any of it because they won't put trays in this buffet. I don't know why they won't put trays in I don't know. That's the thing buffet. about the buffet. Sometimes they really f*** <laughs> up. Your mouth, not no. mine. Your mouth. Keep talking. Keep talking. So then we'll I ran into uh, uh, a, a new friend, uh, Shelby, and she said, do you need help carrying those? And I said, yes. Where's Shelby? She's not here. Oh. She was at the last show. Oh. I said, yes, I know. She went to Eric Andre. Okay. She, no, I'm, she made, yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. She brought, yeah. so if, she, if she's here, I just want to let you know, you're not really friends. He's just saying that. The, <laughs> so anyway, she goes, do you need help carrying these? And I said, yes, I do. You're a, you're a lifesaver. And she goes, are you eating alone? I said, yes, I'm so hungover. She said, do you mind if I join you? I said, no. And we sat down and she said, I'm on my third mimosa. You should start drinking. <laughs> uh, and as the clock struck 10.41 a.m. Uh, so I did. And I got <laughs> faced. Uh, and at 4 p.m. I ate something, went back to bed. Then I woke up. Then I came and uh, did beer pong and wine. Or no, I had wine with dinner, and then I played beer pong with Q, and I drank more, and I got drunk. So you and made then, a whole bunch of new friends, and you left your friend Bill W. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. And then after... Drinks a lot. And then I started to feel sweaty and gross, so I went back to my room, showered, sobered up, went to karaoke, got completely fucking soused at karaoke, <laughs> uh, drinking whiskey, and uh, it was three separate drunks yesterday. You know, you're living your best life. He's living his best life. I walked the walk, baby. I like it. Yes. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. I don't know what I did. I just, I, I'm, I'm all, I just can't even, I, I just, they just take me. I have people lead me around like they're my sponsor. I'm like, go this way. Yes, go this way. They're like, get out there. I'm like, <laughs> I am delirious. At our show, I don't know if you've seen our show yet, but at our show, I get electrocuted at the IJ show. Like a lot. I get electrocuted a lot. And it's happened two nights already. So, you know, you got to understand that the boat's swaying. I've been getting electrocuted a lot. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm forever coming to. Like right now, I just realized where I was again. I, <laughs> That's a nice shirt. Who can get I that? <laughs> I don't mean this offensively. Yes, you do. I think the electrocuting is taking, is having an effect on you. I and your brain. Is. I think it is too. Yes. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, and then we announced a 65 city tour. And so that's 65 nights of electrocution. Three on this boat alone. And uh, after the first couple, I was like, this probably wasn't a good idea. But it, it's a crowd pleaser. And so I just keep getting electrocuted to, to please the crowd. Sounds like I'm Daffy Duck when he swallows the yeah. gunpowder and kills himself to top bugs. You're just, a, you're an anomaly of a human being. I didn't check with my cardiologist, which is the issue. So now I have a looming oh. concern, which is eating away at me, which just yeah. adds to the effects of the electrocution. Yeah. So anyway, buffets. Yeah. 
you're an anomaly of a guy. You'll electrocute yourself on stage, literally electrocute yourself on stage. Yet, if I sneeze two feet away from you and don't <laughs> cover my mouth the right way, you ha you have a meltdown. Well, if I it's was odd, if I was somehow electrocuted with your germs, I would probably die. <laughs> Oh, you said that very... Uh, I said it like... That was very Paul Lind of Yes, you. I did, yeah. yeah. Very attitude. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I'd probably die. It was know? very Harvey Firestein the way you said that. <laughs> um, okay, should we... I'm having the best time on this cruise, though. I yes. just want to say that. You guys are phenomenal. I swear are. to God, like, we do the cruise because we love this as a fan experience. It's a lot of work, but it's so special. And, like, I, I talked to a lot of you today. A lot of you having the Tommy Elias. A lot of you have been back two, three foot. Some people, this is their fifth. They did all of them. And I heard a lot of you guys, like, like meet each other. You're all here, like, liking the same thing. So, I don't know. I'm just, what I'm saying is I love the vibe you guys bring. I appreciate you guys. It's been a wonderful cruise for me, too. Yes. The fan, I mean, the fan show. I, I did this cruise years ago when I was just here to do stand-up. And I was friends with you, uh, and you know there there were some stand-up fans that that knew me, I guess, or whatever, but not really. This is the first time I did it after we did this. Yeah. And the love here, you like from you people Priscilla is Presley. unbelievable. Yes, yeah. it does. It's very, it's very. Uh, does that you know, you say you're Elvis and I'm Priscilla? That's what you. No, I was. I, I, I was. I don't think I was anything. I just was thinking, what's funny? It, that's not Elvis. And it, it wasn't funny, but I told you about the electrocutions. <laughs> Some of them are not going to hit. My synapses aren't connecting. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice shirt. That. Where'd you get that shirt? <laughs> what just what just happened? We I don't know. we definitely killed someone just now. It was it was just a guy like I'm gonna just float tonight and relax, and we just killed him. And his family's not gonna know where he is. This is gonna be one of those stories that they never find him. And then when we're long and gone, they'll find like a tooth, and it'll be like 2090, and they'll just be like, I'm getting seasick. I am too. I got the thing for behind my ear. Should I put it on? Behind your ear? Yeah. I thought it was over your wrist. I had those. They didn't do sh I don't know about the behind the ear thing. What? Does this, Yo, I'm hearing voices now. Even. Does, does this make you more drunk like the way uh, Dramamine will? More drunk? Give me that. Dramamine, Dramamine makes you black out. Yeah. The last time I took Dramamine... The last time I took Dramamine, I was on a crew, a booze cruise in L.A. for Bill Burr's wife's 40th birthday. I was drinking with Peter Billingsley, star of A Christmas Story. I blacked out, woke up the next morning, couldn't remember how I got home, covered in piss. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was that. What? Was it, was it mine? Let's hope not. Let's I hope don't know. not. Let's no hope not. No idea. Yeah, on one aspect, it would be a bad night and one would be a great night. So let's hope it's not his piss. Oh, you don't know that about him. I'm sorry. And by the way, if you haven't taken piss-covered jeans to a dry cleaner <laughs> and tried to run out the door before he realized there was piss all over them, you have not lived, my friends. You still have to go pick him up, though. <laughs> I know. I think I sent a friend in to pick him up. <laughs> and did you tell the friend they were piss jeans? Nice, bro. Nice. You yeah. can't I, want, I wonder if it. we've ever think about that. You might have been piss jeaned before. You ever pick up a, a pair of denim at the at the dry cleaner for a friend? <laughs> no. We we might have been. You know, I don't know. I mean, I got pissed on once, not like in a sexual way, <laughs> and I was clothed. But I was at a bar, and I was, <laughs> I was at a bar in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and I was trying to order a right on. And I was, I was trying to order a water, and there was two girls next to me, and we were talking a little bit. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just waiting for this water. And I was like, wow, I feel like I'm really flush, you know? I was like, I feel like a heat sensation. And the girl goes, me too. And then her friend goes, stop. I go, yeah. She goes, me too. I'm like, what, what the f***? And I turn around, and there was a drunk guy swaying, peeing on us, on our legs. And it felt wonderful for a minute. And then I realized, no. And I was, I, I was in such shock. You know in your dreams when you need to scream and fight back, but you don't have a voice or strength? That happened in real life. I was like, ah. <laughs> And then I screamed. I must, I must have just screamed, and security came running. And then his friend was like, dude, what? And he was like, I've been peeing on you. And then he just, they ran through the crowd, and then the security chased him, and I followed them. And then they eventually they detained them, and they threw them out. But... I still have the, P uh, the PTSD of, of being pissed on. I've got, I've got, did I do this right? Can anybody tell me? Yeah. yeah. yeah That's where it goes? Yes. All right. Uh, Can I thank see you. for later? I want to do one later. Can I see? It's, that's it? Well, you walk around looking like an asshole. Well, but what yeah, is that to? Let's say something right now. That's a scam. <laughs> and, 
I, whoever, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I'm sorry. They're like, oh, put this Band-Aid here, $20. I didn't pay for it. You, you, they're making you think you're not going to get sick now. Well, maybe that's just what it, it does. It, it still straight. works. If it still, it's, an end to, it's a, a means to an end, right? I but I got news for you right now that you can't put a Band-Aid on your neck and it cures <laughs> seasickness. Babe, that's it's such silver. a lie. It's silver, babe. What do you mean it's silver? You don't see the, the inside part that's touching my neck. It's silver. So you see it. It's silver. I'm saying it's a silver sticker that you put on your neck. It's not a Band-Aid. It looks more advanced. Don't get behind them. Than a Band-Aid. <laughs> Just tell me it's a scam. Be on my side for once. Right. No. All right. Uh, I'm going to see him at, like, oh, it'll scale. We'll get started in a sec. But I was at a concert once, and a guy, Prove it. A guy behind me sneezed. Yeah. A guy behind me sneezed, uh, and I felt, I felt a splatter. Uh, my hand to God. I felt a splatter of wet hit my neck. Oh, God. Okay? Uh, and I turned around like, what the f***? And I swear on my life, it was a dude. <laughs> Dude, he had a snot. He's like, there's a guy behind me just pissing. <laughs> dude, dude, I swear, he had a snot. It was hanging. It was I don't hanging. even want, I don't even want the visual, thank you. Listen to Tell me. them. It was hanging down to here. And he just went like this, he went. <laughs> and snuffed it, sucked it back up into his nose like it was a line of coke. Uh, this is a great shirt, but I'm sweating my ass off. Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm taking this tonight. I mostly avoided all of it, but then in between la 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 las, I heard he sucked it back in. <laughs> I might By the way, this is the only this ship is the only experience I've ever had where an 11 year old will come after uh, up to me to ask for a picture, followed by an 83 year old woman. <laughs> That's it, baby. We have the best friends in the world. Yes. It's that's a diverse a, group. That's a cute shirt. Where'd you get that? It's uh, the last time I'll do it. A company called... Oh, wait. I thought you meant this shirt now. No, no, no. I was, this is a oh, cute shirt. Oh, that's why no one laughed, because it's behind you. Okay, yeah. It was funny. It was funny. This is from a company called Feel So Good. They're great. What's that, babe? Is that Dolly? Dolly? Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that yeah. woman. I love um, her. All right. Let's start. We should get going. Let's here. get going. All right. Uh, do the chant then bring the guy? I think... No, no. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Well, we did, a, we did an I Love You the other day. Yeah. We should do a Salty. Yeah. Come on. Come on. All right. It just, it might set us off on the wrong course. No, no pun intended, but the whole ship, but, you know. Okay. I'm actually right. enjoying you too much right now. Okay. Yeah. So you're, then you do need to feel the need to insult me because yes. it's too good right now. Okay. Yes. Ready? Yes. All right. Yeah. See, so right now you're thinking of something mean, right? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, no, I'm trying to come up with something mean. Right. Yeah. yeah same thing as thinking of something mean. No? Yeah. Thinking up something mean. All right, you go first, and I could, then I can get a barometer on how mean you were, and All then right. I'll, I'll reserve mine for after that. Ready? You kick off. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You were seven f***ing minutes late to this show. The ball's on you, and you don't even say sorry. You just waltz in like king shit, and don't go, hey, dude, my bad. I said sorry. No, you didn't. I didn't? No, you didn't. Well, You're I delusional. It. I felt it inside. That's the electricity talking. Yeah, I felt it inside. <laughs> <laughs> now, it takes me, a, on average, I had to walk like a half a ship. On average now, it takes me about seven minutes longer to walk half a ship on account of all the electrocutions. So thanks for bringing that up. Okay. I'm a victim here. Just learn how to, learn how to say I'm sorry I'm a survivor. once in a while. I'm once a survivor. in a while. I'm a survivor. Remember these words. I'm like words. Beyonce. Sorry is the most powerful word in the English language. Yeah. Learn it. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes. Here we go. It's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's hard to look at you with a straight face. <laughs> because I disapprove of so much. And I don't even mean physically, I mean everything. Even the way you walk, your gait, your laugh, sometimes it all gets on my nerves. It's a snowball effect. Sometimes I can take you, and then sometimes when you start here, it just goes, and then I just hate every fiber of your being. I got news for you. He wanted to do this. I, I had got to news come for with you. it. The point is to come with it. You, you know, you can't I got aim for the king and not miss. I what? Got, what? I don't know. I've been electrocuted. <laughs> I've got news for you. Yeah. I have genuine moments where I think to myself, I don't know why don't he's still way. friends with I me. I don't feel that way. <laughs> I always have to tell him that. No, afterwards. stop. Don't ruin it. All right, you f Yeah. <laughs> You're f irritating. Come on, let's go. I love right. him. I love you so much. I, I don't feel that way. I love you so much. God you might, damn no. it. No. No, f this. You were late, you f Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I was doing 17 other shows. 
The uh, all right, ready? Yes. Let's let's do it. Here okay, we go. Ready? Yes. ready? It's yes. time to B A T T L E butts. All right, we have a special guest coming out here to help us with this battle tonight. We are doing buffet versus tasting slash chef's menu, and to assist us with this, the great Adam Ray, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah! Hey, buds. Hey, good pal. to see ya. Good to see ya. Have you guys seen Adam show? Uh, have you seen Adam in the showcase show yet? <laughs> quickest, forty people. Quickest I'll human take being it. I know. Yeah, he's great. Funny, fun, he funny. He didn't have any shirts that fit tonight. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's how shirts fit when you look like that. Yeah, this is the. I'm the wearing shirt a the body. Yeah. You actually have. A <laughs> uh, I will say this about the uh, the patch too. It doesn't work. I've only got. Aha! I'm wearing the patch. I have the uh, ginger candy. I have the uh, Dramamine cock ring. None of them work. <laughs> None of them work. Well, that's just gonna make your dick drowsy. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna make your. That's a tough sentence to say. Make your dick drowsy. Make it. Say it five times. Make your dick drowsy. Make your dick. You ah, messed up on you the first one. He's a voiceover artist as well. Just so you know, I'm My feeling good about. Terrible. Ready? Uh, uh, make make your dick drowsy. 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 That was pretty wow, close. Wow, that was good. Holy that was very shit! Good. I Do I win like a free Gatorade Zero or you something? You win another ginger. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You get a Wait, ginger. so do these work? No. <laughs> The ear thing doesn't work. Do you need no, these? No, it's bullshit. No, I don't need it right now, and they have they have them for okay. us. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Adam, what yeah, do you I should have came out here like the. I should have been throwing them out like fucking Oprah. You should have. By the way, I watch that clip, no joke, probably twice a month, just to remind myself that we're all not that bad. Which which what clip? clip? The Oprah giving away uh, cars <laughs> moment. It's fucking. It's magnificent. Yeah, people it is. are losing their fucking minds. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I I would too. Yeah. And we have a surprise for you guys. What's that? Look under your seats. Look There's a dream of mean cock ring underneath all your seats. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> what if there was? <laughs> and you guys didn't tell that anybody. Be the best. Last cruise ever, yeah. yeah. How shocked would you be if the thing you said just manifested? I mean, I'd, I'd buy a copy of The Secret and uh, <laughs> get it. a Joe DeRosa voodoo doll and, you know. <laughs> Are you are you truly like having a hard time? No, I'm feeling good. Okay. I've been feeling great this whole time. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm being serious. Well, though. Joe put in my head last night. He goes, "The more you drink on Dramamine, the more drunk you get." Does anyone else subscribe to that urban legend? Yeah. No, no, I think no. no. I think look right. it up. Joe, stop spreading rumors, TMZ. Look, all right. Look, no, no. Seriously, look it up. It it accelerates alcohol. It does. It accelerates the effects of alcohol. Now, how much are you using WebMD to prescribe your? I think really the bigger question is how much alcohol am I using? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I find that any pill I take seems to accelerate alcohol. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, took, I took some vitamin C. I blacked out. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> a buddy of mine uh, told me recently, he texted me, actually. He was like, dude. Prove it. Yeah. He goes, uh, I'll pull the text. He goes, uh, I, he goes, don't. All he said was, I haven't talked to him, by the way, in probably eight months. He texted me, don't try to jerk off on NyQuil. And then smiley, uh, smiley face, but flipped around, so frowny face. Okay. Oh, what is that? And I was like, like, cool text, Dad. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. No, it wasn't my dad. It was a friend from college, which what made even weirder. What happens if you do? I didn't ask a follow-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Should I? If, I don't know. So don't, don't... Don't try to jerk off on NyQuil. On NyQuil. But it also feels you, like assumed, you know? Do you want to hear, hear true? Why? Oh, sorry. No, because it's the nighttime, sneezy, cold running. Sniffling, sneezing, coughing, so stuffy, and fever nut. It's they not that you can hurt, hurt your penis jerking off medicine. They should have bust a nut. It's the nighttime, sneezy, <laughs> sniffling, so nut, bust a nut medicine. <laughs> That's corn nut slogan, by the way. <laughs> Do you know that? No, bust I know. Nut, it's ridiculous. Bust a nut, come on. It's like, it starts off, it's a real catchy jingle. It's like, it's like you know, your parents are gone, lock the doors, <laughs> grab some corn nuts, and let's see what happens next. Right? It's just, and then bust a nut is the slogan. Yeah. Yeah, that was the, the 80s. I, you guys might not remember it. It's better than their old slogan, come in your pants. It's much better. It's a little better. It's much better. So the yeah. tasting menu. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm, a, I'm buffet over tasting. If you want to know, just Adam Ray's uh, That's perspective. what I was going to ask. I didn't want you to say that, because then you can kind of you know, sway in the, the balls. Well, I mean, I'll give uh, an argument to both sides. I think the, uh, the single parent kid in me was uh, the buffet. We had a place called King's Table in Seattle. Yeah. Uh, we had oh, Sizzler, that's obviously. That's a great name. Yeah. King's Table? Yeah, and you felt like one. Oh, a table, not a king. Would when you? Left. Would you? Just <laughs> so many ice cream on top of macaroni bowls. So many. Can you dip this in that type of? You know. That's how exactly. Excited, I'll get into that in a second. How excited are you as a kid? Yeah. When your mom and dad go, well, get mom, dressed. Mom, mom just thanks mom. It, thanks for bringing it up. Just yeah. mom. When your mom goes, I'm yeah. so sorry, daddy left. I still feel the need to say it, but we're gonna go to King's. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Dad left for a buffet of women. <laughs> wow, too soon, Sal. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was 30 a years ago, man. I should have said it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. There was a seafood restaurant in my neighborhood growing up called Harpoon Prove Louis. Prove it. It was called Harpoon Louis. And I would get so excited with my mom and dad. I, I, that was my birthday Harpoon restaurant. Louis? Yeah. That sounds made yeah. up. Yeah. That sounds like a strip club in a Grand Theft Auto. Uh, <laughs> like, like, you don't want to go there, but you're like, oh, I've already you know, killed every other person. <laughs> Wait, so what happened there? What did you, was I'm the main just, attraction? I'm, I, it's more just about the name King's Table. Like, as a little kid, yeah. your mom going, we're going to go to King's, King's Table, Table, get dressed. Like, I, I, I'm get getting dressed. excited <laughs> thinking about it. Did you hear that? Put clothes on. We're going to King's <laughs> Table. Put your penis away. Yeah. You can't have your penis out of this table. Uh, get your dick out of that yeah. bag of corn nuts. nuts. We're going to King's Table. <laughs> <laughs> you know the rules. Yeah. Oh my God. There's got to be people. Uh, come out of the ditch, Joe. <laughs> oh my God. He used to he used to uh, play in a ditch when he was little. Did you? Yeah. For I fun? Just, yeah. Yeah. Who uh, else was well, down there? Yeah, Did you meet any characters? It was attempted fun. Any oh. ditch creatures? No. Oh, he had a whole he no. had a whole city that lived down there in his head. Who drug you down there? Your imaginary friend? Who drug you down there? I wouldn't so much as play in it as I would sit and stare at it. Oh my god. And think I gotta get out of this town <laughs> in the third grade. I was thinking that. <laughs> I smell too many sharpies. <laughs> yeah, was, I gotta, it's time to make a change. I gotta get out of this town <laughs> in the third That's grade. So funny, and it's dude. true. That's crazy. Third grade was what uh, year for you? What, oh, oh uh, well, I was born in 77, so third grade is what, uh, 80? I'll never know. Six or It's five? like saying sure. the alphabet backwards yeah, when they pull yeah. you over. 85, maybe? So you were unhappy with the uh, state of the uh, nation in the third grade. You're like, this f town, like, we just The gotta... town was just so, there was just no culture there. There was nothing to do. I didn't have siblings. It, was, it would get dark and cold at 4 p.m. I just hated it. I God. hated it. Dude, when he fell out of the yeah. vagina, he didn't cry. He was like, really? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Should we end the show on that? He that set was a the good tone one. up top. <laughs> yeah. I turned to the doctor. Oh, that was just great. Nice <laughs> like, work. <laughs> Wait, is this what you want? <laughs> <laughs> so the ditch story, this oh is true. The ditch story is I, I, we had a ditch next to my house, and, I, and when none of my friends could play, I would, I would sit and just stare at it because was, that was going outside. I had nothing to do. Were you seeing anything like those seeing eye books where you cross your eyes and an image appears? Grass and mud is what I was seeing. Okay. I was seeing the just actual... Just making bring like a right. G.I. Joe in there? Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I mean, that could have been a whole fucking uh, tropical there was, forest. No, there was nothing down there, trust me. Uh, and there was a dog across the ditch yeah. at the Vander... The, there were the family across the ditch, they were called the Vandergriffs. Yeah. It was their it sounds, now it sounds made up. Yeah. They, had a dog, they had a dog named Spooky. No, they didn't. Well, go yes, ahead. they did. Oh, yeah. okay. They had a black dog named huh. Spooky, okay. and he was Let's one of those... We didn't like to pass yeah. the Vanderditch house. <laughs> Some people say those, it was haunted. He was one of those dogs that like wouldn't die, and he would eat golf balls. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, right? This is the plot to Sandlot. What are I you talking about right now? So... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't mean. Spooky oh, George Herman. All right, all right, Shaggy. All right, let's go. He, he wasn't mean, but he would eat golf oh, balls. I think he said it wasn't me. No, he wasn't mean. Is he still alive? I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't keep in touch with the Vandergriffs. <laughs> As I heard that question come out of my mouth, I go, dumb question, dude. Why'd you just... They send a Christmas card every year with the dog, <laughs> the deteriorating dog on it. Uh, <laughs> the, whole, the dog's body just like, just like a sack of golf balls. <laughs> I swear to God, this is the part that I'm like, this is the real crazy part. Right. So Q and I went back to my hometown. Q and I? What? Q and I. Oh. Q and I went down to my hometown and we shot, uh, we shot a, a pilot. Dog. A pilot oh, for yeah. travel. <laughs> we shot a woman and... Uh... <laughs> yeah. and dude, pilot, yeah. I said to Q, I go, dude, I live 10 minutes. I grew up 10 minutes from where we're at right now. And he goes, you, let's go. We're going to the house. So I go, we got to record it because this is nuts. I'm going to go, I'm, I got to record corn nuts. me going back to the Someone ditch. Someone call it corn nuts. <laughs> we go back to the house. We're standing at the ditch. I look down. There's a golf ball on the ground. I swear to the God. The ghost of spooky. Yeah. And I, and I picked it up and I go, the dog used to eat these. The dog that lived right across there. And, and there was a golf ball, and I still have the golf ball on my like a, on a you shelf. Kept it. My house. It's wild yeah. because yeah. it's spooky. Like I'm not even making a yeah. joke. And I've got a big surprise for you, Joe. Spooky, come on out, man. <laughs> no, he's not here. He's dead. He's dead. But it's crawling. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the front door and we knocked, and the guy who lives in my in my childhood home now answered the door. And I said, I, "This is going to sound crazy, but I live here. Uh, I lived here. Could, could we come in and look around?" <laughs> By the way, it would be awesome if you were like, "I live here." <laughs> if you're curious about those sounds in the bathroom, that was me. My name is Joe DeRosa. Please follow like, me on Instagram. Uh, you're living. You're living parasite right yeah. now. <laughs> 
you should check your closets, buddy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is on you. Wait, okay, so what do you say? And I go, uh, I go, I know it's crazy, but we're down here shooting a TV show. Yeah. Could I maybe come in and just look around real quick? And the guy said, it's not a good time. <laughs> And then also didn't recognize Q and shut the door. <laughs> oh, bummer. So the house kept your energy. Okay. And that was it. I was like, all right, I'll see you later. And that man, Tom Selleck. All right. Insert better reference. Let's move on. Yeah. Did you turn and stare at the ditch after that? No, Just we like, did the ditch first. Okay. And then I said, let's not. You know why he here. didn't let you in? He looked out his window and said, who's this motherfucker? Staring at the ditch <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for like 10 minutes. He stole my golf balls out there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. That's yeah. So that was the Dutch. Great story. Yeah, give yeah, it up for the like story. You sound like you mean it, huh? You sound like you mean it. I do. <laughs> it didn't have the punch I was anticipating, but the uh, the beats were solid all the way through. <laughs> also, I love a good childhood ditch dog golf ball story. You know? Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. When, Who does it? Well, my, well, my grandma Rose passed away. My dad's mom. Uh, 2010, May 2010. Um, we were in the hospital with overnight, and like you know. We were, talking to her and you know and we fooling around she took she took on her own she took uh, one of those latex gloves yeah and she, she was 85 at the time she was just all the way to the end just very like you know just fun and spunky yeah she was so sweet and she blew it up and she tied it and she was like bouncing around to make us feel better right and then the she passed away like that night and then like literally that week i went to uh, i was in a parking lot of the supermarket and i opened my car door to get out and i blown up tied latex glove just breezed by my car in the wind. I swear, I swear on my life. I swear on my life. Which I'll never forget that, but it's cool you saw the golf ball from the dog. <laughs> Sal, hold that thought. We have that latex glove. Come on out! No, we don't. We don't. Sorry, I had to do this it. This is why you're so funny. I would have said we have Grandma Rose, which is too sad of a thing it's to too say. Too sad, man. You got to go above this that. This is why you're funny. Kill it this with is kindness. why you're better than me. I only oh, found no. out later she was swallowing tons of latex gloves. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like just a big hand walking around. Is that the hamburger helper? <laughs> Great ref. Great, Great reference. Good wow. Rap. I still, Good ref. You can smoke this weed. This is why he's here tonight. You can right. smoke weed, kids. You can smoke weed. You can hang out. So here's what we're going to do. Let's yeah. get into the battle. Let's get into the battle. Let's get into the battle. I can't wait. Adam Ray. Adam Ray is going to be out in that audience yeah. with a microphone. So when we go to the phones and want to talk to you, he is able to talk to you. We are able to, we are able to hear you. But I think going to the actual phones, continue. But <laughs> he will not be doing it as Adam Ray. Ooh. He will be doing it as... Dr. Phil. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Let's baby. go. There's only one Phil in my life and only one Phil in your life. Raise your hand if you've ever had a wet dream. <laughs> now, keep that raise if you've, uh, hand raised if you've ever had a real dream. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and be Phil and uh, really turn this up a notch because that's the guy that's looking for all the solutions in all the wrong places. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to go out to the go. audience. Let's, let's do it, baby. Let's do the chant yes. again. Let's yes. do the chant again. It's time to B-A-G-T-L-E, but... All right, oh, baby. Sal, yes. you had opening arguments last time. Go, babe. Uh, I will, if you don't mind. Yeah. I'm Team Buffet. Okay. What, I mean, what's not to love anything you want? Team Buffet... All right, a buffet, if you like food, it's like Willy Wonka brought you into the factory. And he's like, the sky is the limit, kid. If you can dream it, we can do it here at Wonka. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, you're in full control of your own destiny. You eat what you want. You eat when you want it. You eat how much of it that you want. That's part of the problem. Why? Because I've been to a buffet, and I've become a different person at a buffet. And I think a little bit of uh, you know, moderation is good. And in the buffet, it's like Caligula. There's no rules there. You understand what I'm saying? This is a, it's a whole reference. But uh, it's like, uh, what can I call it? It's just, it's just really mayhem at the buffet. I don't trust myself. And you know what? You can get everything. And that's another problem. It's, 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 it's international waters. It's excess. You know what I'm saying? Buffet. What's that? You said, what can I call it? I'm saying it's international waters at the buffet. There are no rules. Yeah, exa oh, there you go. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got electrocuted. And... Um, <laughs> That's okay. I like, here's the thing. I'm a normal person in my everyday life. And then every once in a while when I walk into a buffet, or when I even know that I'm going to go to a buffet, I just sound like Rich, uh, Christopher Walken for a second. Yes. When I even know, I, don't know. I, uh, I just start to immediately think differently. And I'm, I'm like, I'm going to have like pizza, but I'm going to dip it in like ice cream. 
and I might top it with an Italian style tuna salad. And then I eat that. And then, uh, first of all, when I go to a buffet, I don't eat any food as it was intended. Every food becomes a f transformer. I'm, I'm literally, I'm stuffing shit with other shit. I'm piling it up. I go back for four or five plates. I don't even care. I'm arrogant about it because everybody else is doing the same thing. And that might sound like a cool thing, like an accepting thing, but we're all in there killing ourselves. You understand all what right. I'm saying? I understand. That's not how I do a buffet, though. Uh, by the way, God bless the buffet here. I'm not talking about the buffet here. When I say buffet tonight, like in a legal contract, let's say I'm talking about every single buffet in the world except the one on this boat. I don't do a buffet like that. I do a buffet in courses, like I would at a restaurant. Like a, like a civilized gentleman? Yes. I okay. start with a salad bar. I mean, a, I mean they, it's basically they're putting it in troughs for you to run up and get. The line, you go out there, the, the line is people troughs? cut. You, you no, not troughs. There's a sneeze guard. Okay, let's talk about the sneeze guard. Usually that's where like, the pizza wait, wait, is. Wait, wait, let's not digress. Let me tell you my strategy. I wasn't digressing. I was pro going forward. <laughs> I go salad bar first. Yeah. Bang it out. I'll okay. do a blue cheese with bacon bits. That's what I do. All right? Then I go a soup. Okay? Maybe a chili if they have it. Then I go to apps. Your fried chicken wings. Oh. Then you go to apps? Apps. What were the first two things? Soup and salad don't even count as... Soup and salad... They're not courses. But you usually have apps before soup and salad. No, no, no. I don't. No, no, no. No. All right, well, at the buffet, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But I got news for you. The bacon bits and blue cheese was the appetizer. I think that salad is just a primer. It's just laying a foundation in my stomach for what's to come. This is exactly my argument. He's using salad as a primer that's, to get ready for what's about to happen to any, his intestines. That's in any meal. That's not just in the buffet. I understand. Well, yeah. I mean, you, yeah. All right. That's salad the thing. is a great... That's the thing. You get a feel for that stuff, and then everything becomes a buffet. Do you, you know, know what this? I mean? Italy, you're, at a, you're at a restaurant just swiping stuff off other people's tables, just shoving it in down. Italy, they eat the salad last because Prove it, it. Helps you digest. It helps you digest. Yes, roughage. Yes, I understand. Anyway, then I go to apps. My apps are my chicken, my fried chicken wings. I love fried chicken wings at a buffet. Any buffet that doesn't have them upsets me. They don't have them here, but this is a great buffet. The, <laughs> you know, if there's a seafood, uh, then I'll go to the seafood course. Some buffets have seafood. Yeah, you get that seafood in there like two thirds. Yeah, two thirds of the way in. I hammer out the crab legs and I get into that. Cra okay, crab legs. A lot of buffets have crab legs. Crab legs? Uh huh. What kind? King. King. Or snow? I don't Up know. Whatever. Oh, king or snow? What are you fucking Game of Thrones? <laughs> whatever the whatever the we crab all thought. I trusted you until now. I don't know what, what buffet are you getting. King crab legs at where every other place on the planet it's what market price. What buffet does it? No, king, crab it's, legs. That's are, an MP. They that's have a in mortgage this one? payment price. No, they don't have them in this one. <laughs> yeah, Vegas. No, that's not true. I've been there like forty times. <laughs> Any buffet in Vegas. Casino, bu now, you like you his brother? It's, don't talk in absolutes. You should have said once in a while you see him at buffets in Vegas. No, I would have respected you. I'm telling you. Now buddy, I don't respect you. Crab legs. If you go to a Chinese buffet, they have them. If you go to a, a usually casino buffet, King has them. crab legs. I what's your cost? Of, what's the, wrong, the cost of entry? Hold on a second. I'm saying the wrong crab leg. Whatever the standard crab leg. You say, is. You're saying snow? the wrong crab is leg. It's snow. It's a is like, it it's, snow. It's probably a, an actually. It's probably like a sexual crab leg. <laughs> Who knows where you go? Is it a snow? Buffets right around the ditch aren't going to be good. <laughs> what am I? I'm going to. <laughs> I like that I'm going to seedy buffets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This kid hangs around Times Square. He goes to when you buffets. need it, you need it. You're going to any buffet. I know that. <laughs> it's snow crab, not king. Sorry. Uh, so I do a seafood course. Snow then, crab, the Baltic Avenue of crabs. I enjoy a seafood course. That was at a funnier than you guys laughed at. That was funnier than that. This is also the course where I'm hitting the peel and eat shrimp. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. No. You don't do this. You don't. Do eat, you want to hear how I end it out? No, you can't do that. You can't. I, by the way, also, it's just a pet peeve. Like, I paid the money. Peel my f***ing shrimp. You, you can't have it all. I'm sit here now taking two minutes per shrimp because I'm a f***ing psychopath and I got to get all the shit and f scales out of there. And then I look at it and then by the time I'm done with it, it uh, not before I chewed it, it looks like it's been run through the mill. It's disgusting. And they're all out there. And you think people aren't... Th 
picking some of them up and putting some of them back. I mean, you they know, are. I've seen it. I sorry, lived it. I've done it on the show. Sorry, we're all not rich celebrities that have people peel our shrimp for us. Sorry, You're some serious? of us have to peel our own shrimp. Sorry yeah. that us lowly, poor civilians. I'm sorry. Oh, well, oh, the lowly scum of the earth you has to peel his own shrimp. You would have went down first on the Titanic. That's how it goes. That's what I do. When I, have, when I get served peel and eat shrimp as a billionaire, <laughs> I say, Farnsworth! Oh, my God. I a, also, I'm telling you about my experience in the buffet that you're at. So how am I a wealthy person? I'm telling you I'm peeling it myself. I'm telling you my next course. Next course. Ready? Yeah. Carving station. That's the fucking grand finale. You're already, you're already, this is too much, Joe. That's the point of the buffet, Sal. And it's what I like and respect about a buffet. A buffet is letting you know what the food you're eating is worth. They're going, you would have paid $366 to eat all this at a restaurant. $11.99, come on in. That's what this is yeah, worth. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And that's definitely an accurate statistic. And that's why so many buffets, business models stay open. Because you're eating you $366 buffets, worth of food and they charge you $11. That's how they stay open. What neighborhood are you in where you got boarded up buffets everywhere? That's a negative town. 40 million percent profit. That's not true. They want you to believe that. What they're doing, if you can believe it for eleven ninety nine, is still making a profit. Of course. So think about the quality of the food, not at this buffet, that you're eating. I'm not mad at a you, prime rib ever. Who, you don't even, it's not a red flag. Even, not even a red flag. I'm like, $11. Go f kill yourself you eat so much. Go be a goldfish. You can eat as, no one's going to say anything. We're not even going to look. You just go eat as much as you want for $11. How much do you think those here's things are? They're still making a profit and a, they got to pay overhead, rent, staff. Here's another thing I like about the buffet. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp as usual. Uh, thank you, BetterHelp. Listen, what's the first thing you guys do when you got an extra time in your day? You take a nap, you go for a run. What do you do? You read a book, you hang out with a friend. What about, what about time spent up here. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. What are you going to do with it? Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of that. Uh, Joe uh, uses BetterHelp um, since day one. I have used it a, a bit. I'm now back in person, but I cannot understate the importance of, of therapy. If you think of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient and flexible and suited to your schedule. Just fill out the brief questionnaire that they have and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. I have a family member who's doing it as well. Um, so yeah, learn to make time for what matters and what makes you happy with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash taste buds today to get 10% off of your first month. That's better help with a P H E L P dot com slash taste buds. Guys, have you heard about joy mode yet? All right. I want to take a second to talk about S E X. Is that all right with you guys? <laughs> Anybody been having SEX lately, bro? Sex? Gentlemen, 15 minutes or less is great when you're talking about pizza delivery, but not when you're referring to your performance in the old bedroom. That's why we've partnered with our friends at Joy Mode. Gone are the days of sketchy gas station erection pills and the worst kinds of side effects you can imagine. Four-hour erections, that's insane. Uh, that's where Joy Mode comes in. The sexual, Their sexual performance booster is an all-natural and science-backed supplement to give your disco stick all the tools it needs with nothing it does not. Simply mix a wonderful concoction with six to eight ounces of water, 45 minutes before sexual activity, and watch the magic unfold literally. Be the new sheriff in the bedroom, okay? <laughs> Whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not perform better, right? No one's perfect except Jesus, so only Jesus doesn't have to take joy mode. Not only is this the only supplement you'll need in the bedroom, it also supports blood vessel support, cardiovascular and health, heart health, athletic performance, and uh, blood pressure, and general erection function. I don't know about you, but I find it interesting, and I'm probably going to give this a whirl. Go to usedjoymode.com and get 20% off with code TASTEBUDS at checkout. That's 20% off and free shipping with code TASTEBUDS at use joymode.com guys let's talk about prize picks what is it first of all prize picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in north america daily platform um they're the easiest and most exciting way to play uh daily uh fantasy sports it's just you against numbers okay so instead of battling thousands of other players including pros and sharks you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections 
and watch the winnings basically roll in, okay? Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for the playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of the year. Get out on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into some serious cash. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn 10 bucks into 1,000 with NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today. On Price Picks, want to play alongside some of the Price Picks favorite players like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley? Oh wow! You can now find community plays under the Promos tab of the app to view entries for some of the biggest names in the Price Picks community each week. Conference tournaments are here, which means the biggest moments in college basketball are getting closer. Be part of the action with Price Picks for both men and women's college basketball. Uh, with them, when we got, we first got them as a as a sponsor. Uh, I tried it out. Um, and I don't really usually gamble outside of like Super Bowl time, but it was actually really fun. It gave me more of a reason to watch the games. And I just, all I did pick was like that Steph Curry would have more than like 26 points. And my boy, Anthony Davis, shout out to my boy, AD, uh, would have more than two blocks. Uh, and I'm always going to bet on AD. I'm actually uh, look for something uh, between him and I and the guys soon. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. But anyway, download the app today and use the code TasteBuds for a first deposit match up to $100. Okay. Again, download the app today and use code TasteBuds for a first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more. Pick less. It's that easy with prize picks. I like that it's. I it like might be that shit it's, dressed up for food. I like that it's the holy. It's like the holy grail of Indiana Jones. They're like, you can have as much as you want in here, but nothing passes our seal. <laughs> you, you can nothing take to, nothing to go yeah. from the buffet. Once you cross the seal, yeah, all of it has to stay inside. Yeah, it's a devil. It's the devil. They're giving you a taste, and then they're saying you have to stay here that in hell, and they don't let you leave. I'm making this up as I go, but it sounds good, right? You know what I mean? I they, the they, last crusade they, the buffet is a, a is a drug dealer on the corner. They're like, you want a little taste? Eleven dollars, I'll give you a taste. It's the opposite. And then, and then guess what? Guess who he sees skipping down? Little f-ing Joe DeRosa the next week because you got addicted. It's the opposite right? of the now drug he's got dealer. His, now he he lords over you. Now you got it. It's got the a drug opposite dealer. of a drug dealer. Sizzler is a, no. just a legal drug dealer. No, here's it's not. This is if a buffet was a drug dealer. Here's what he, the drug dealer would be. He go, listen, dude. I can bring you this much for this much, or if you come to my house, you can have as much as you want, as long as you don't leave my house, okay? And you go, I'm coming to your house, buddy. Let's have a good The night. tasting menu is like a personal trainer, okay? Not a drug dealer. They come out, they say, look, I thought of this food specifically myself. I put it together the to arrogance. make things better than the sum of their parts, right? I'm going to tell you what you should eat because I know what's excellent. You don't have to take any guesswork and you won't hit any snafus because I'm giving you the best of the best. I'm going to course it out in reasonable portions so you get to taste everything and still leave with a pep in your step and feel good about yourself because even if you feel good walking into the buffet and, I, and let's be honest, if you feel good walking into it, most of the time we go overboard, you have, you have things, you have ice cream with Steak, it's ridiculous. Tuna, Let me tell you. cereal. I go cereal. I still go cereal in the middle of the steak. I don't care. I need to have cereal. Hold on a second. That's why the buffet. You're Let scoffing. me finish talking. You're I got scoffing. Electric, dude. You're scoffing that buffets have crab legs? What buffets are you going to that have cereal on? They have the little box aisles? <laughs> or stations. Take that thing off your neck. Stations. It's making me woozy. I almost fell over the chair. I'm looking in your ago. eyes right now, and you look like, you look like you've been drugged. Uh, well, they gonna... work. No, they don't. You're still sick. Yes. You still don't feel good. Yes. So they work, but, but they don't me, work for let that reason. Let me tell you reason. about your tasting menu. Tasting menus are for people, people with low self-esteem. How so? They don't trust their own judgment. If, a, if you got a tasting menu and the chef came out and he goes, Oh, Mr. Volcano, we put Italian tuna salad on top of pizza with chocolate sauce. You go, this is, oh my God, this is gourmet. This is brilliant. No, but if you do it yourself, I wouldn't do that because you I want my brain no cells. Good. You say it's no good when you do it yourself. You need somebody to tell you what to I do. I would actually conversely argue the opposite. Is that just, that's redundant. But I would agree that I would say that it's, the buffet for you, your experience of the buffet is, 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 is you have low self esteem. That's why, you, oh, sorry, the tasting menu. You have low self esteem, so you don't like the tasting menu because you're afraid to take chances and you're afraid to trust other people. Yes. You have commitment issues. Yes, I do. I walk in and I feel good about it. I trust an establishment. It's a more pleasant experience. I say, you're the professional. I won't. I'm here because you have went to school for this. I'm here because you have, you, this is art. You tell me what to eat. I'm going to have an artful experience, a memorable experience that's going to be designed specifically 
as the creator of the food intended it to be. I'm going in for a, a something specific, a unique experience that I'm paying for, and that should have a return in the same way. And every time I've ever done it, which isn't a ton of times, I've walked out like, wow. I've sampled a lot of what this person is capable of, a lot of what this menu has to offer. I feel like I would know if this is a place I want to go back to all the time, a place that I would recommend, or never go back again, all while still feeling good about myself. Okay? I would argue the buffet is when I'm feeling down on myself, I go to the buffet because I'm an emotional leader and I like to eat a lot. I so will. if you ever see me 50 pounds heavy in this, which is like every other week, it's because I've been crying. Dr. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. What's going on? Dr. Phil. I was wondering when you guys were going to shut the <laughs> Up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Enough I of this. He said, she said, bullshit. <laughs> By the way, Joe, uh, salad as a primer was my high school yearbook quote. <laughs> All right, let's keep it right here. F Dr. Phil, would you... Would you keep it right here? Would yeah. You, yeah. Would you... Uh, Dr. Phil, would you say buffet or tasting menu is for the personality with low self-esteem? Well, I think if you're sad, you know, it's clearly because you made a bunch of uh, poor choices. <laughs> that led, uh, they just stacked on top of each other, and nothing makes you feel sadder than a stack of flapjacks. Am I right? <laughs> so if I'm getting down and I want my tears to uh, to really, you know, I'll turn on some boys to men. I'll make love to you. I'll cry, <laughs> looking in the rearview mirror, driving to a king's table, right? <laughs> and I'll ask myself the big question: How much can I fit in my <laughs> gut, right? <laughs> but your question, Joe, uh, triggers me because you know. <laughs> Should I send you an email? Is this is too long, huh? No, no don't is, interrupt no. Ninja Dr. Phil. I don't God. even know where he is. Hold on a second. This is so insane hearing this voice come out of the blackness. It's like the computer in 2001. <laughs> this is Look, so I, weird. I have your whole Google search history up right now, Joe. So beware. <laughs> beware of dog. <laughs> beware of Phil. Yeah. Now, the last thing that I Googled now that we're here uh, was uh, who wrote the music to Two Girls, One Cub? But before that, I Googled, taste menus don't have sh** on buffets. And you know what came up, Joe? What's that? Picture of you. <laughs> and the second thing that came up was a whole bunch of articles arguing that buffets actually, to, to counter your point, actually uh, are for the person who's got more confidence because they know what they want, you know? But, yes, but yes. with that being said, taste menus also show a lot of faith, okay? We're all trying to trust each other more. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Who said... <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> Oprah's my <laughs> queen. Oprah once farted right in front of me, and I took the blame for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you this much, it smelled like a buffet fart. Let's talk about that for a minute. <laughs> buffet versus taste menu fart. Who wins in a six-round, seven-game series? I don't know. I don't know. I'm drunk. But so I think, I think, I will tell you this. It's wild to not see you. It's it feels like Dr. Phil is God. No. Well, it's wild or to see I, you, Or someone, someone dropped acid in my drink. It's so, this is so crazy. Dude, I want to start a new podcast called Dark Dr. Phil, where it's just his voice comes out of blackness. Game, baby. It's like that restaurant that you go in the dark. The whole experience is like, you hear just Dr. Phil. You don't know where he is in the room, but you just get, instead of like a ninja using nunchucks, yes. it's like Dr. Phil bum rushes you with advice. Oh my it God. would be crazy if I just burst through the curtains behind you guys, Kool-Aid style, <laughs> <laughs> wearing exactly the same outfit that you're wearing. I do have a person here I'd love to throw some love to, uh, okay. a member of the audience. Uh, uh, his name is Jim. He's from Daytona Beach, okay? And uh, for, for a living, okay, for each person, I'm going to give him a, 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 a purpose, right? And also a fun fact. Jim from Daytona Beach uh, markets natural propane gas. That's for a living what he does. And fun fact, uh, he's allergic to Dramamine cock rings. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please give it up for Jim from Daytona Beach. Jim, Jim, say hi. Jim, do you have a thought? Hello. Good afternoon. What'd you say? Jim, do you have a thought on the argument? Yeah, I got a Dr. Phil, thanks for coming over here. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I love this guy right now. <laughs> hey, just, I, just before we continue, just a little uh, shout out to the people behind the crates, yeah? We're going to go dig into the crates. We're going to go dig into the crates. Actually, we it's promise. amazing what he gave us. He gave us a gift. We're all experiencing the show now like the people behind the crates. <laughs> they can only hear it. They can only hear Wait it. Wait a minute. Is Adam doing the other guy's voice too? <laughs> What is going on? Well, right I can't say for sure because all of the electrocutions, but I think I'm 100% positive he is. No, he's not. This is definitely Jim from Daytona Beach. Go ahead, Real Jim. Oh, my God. Is he really doing hey, it? Re hey, Real Jim, go ahead. Wait. <laughs> no. Sal, no. shut up for a minute. Hey, Real Jim, go ahead. 
I got to tell you, Dr. Phil. I got to tell you, Dr. What Phil. What's going on? Yeah. I don't like this. It's freaking me out, man. I know. I feel it's like really I'm freaking me out. I don't know why, but I all feel right, like all right. I'm hey, Everybody just settle the f*** down, all right? All right? Let's I, just all remember where we came from and where we're headed. Adam. Jim's from Daytona Beach. Buffets were, uh, were, they were, they were apparent, right? Dr. Phil, what the f*** is going on? Jim, I will knock you the f*** out if you swear at me one more time. You've got big, meaty knees, which I can't stop staring at. By the way, meaty knees, Joe, is, was the antithesis to King's Table. That's a great buffet name, meaty knees, because you're walking out, there with some fat knees. All right. Jim, 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 hold on. Jim, everybody cool it, or I'm taking a commercial break. <laughs> I'll call Gail King right now and ask her if she's done a Sudoku in the last 24 hours. And if she has, everyone drinks five because we're playing the Gail King drinking Sudoku game. All right, Jim from Daytona Beach. Uh, oh buffet God. or take... Yeah, let's give it up. Let's give it up for everybody on this ship, including the guy driving it who I've never met. All right. <laughs> Jim. Dr. Phil. Yeah. Can you do, do us a favor? Come over here. I don't want to see you, but come over here to the crates. Can I get one, the crates. Can I get one answer from Jim? He's yes. been so polite and kind just sitting here. Please. I got to tell you, Dr. Phil, I got to agree with Joe up there. Get all the choices and especially... This guy thinks he's really on Dr. Especially, Phil. Especially the uh, buffet on this ship. It's top notch. Wow, there's a f shout out that. if I've ever heard one. That I agree with. Great job, Jim. Thank you so much, Jim. And Jim, uh, when you, what's your, been your favorite part of the cruise so far, Jim? Be honest. Meeting Sal in person this afternoon. Oh, my God. That was uh, sweet that we didn't anticipate I thought for. he was going to say the buffet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was right there. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thanks, in many Jimbo. ways, I'm like a buffet. Do we have anybody over in the crates that wants to... This is a segment called... The phones. The phones. Let's dig go to it the, in crate the crate people. Just dig it in the crates. I'm sorry. God damn Let's it. Let's go to the crate people. Let's dig in the crates, people. Yes. Let's dig in the crates. The crate people are kind of like Southwest uh, Airlines <laughs> C-group passengers. <laughs> where you, you haven't met them live in person, but once you do, you go, all right, I got to get out more. All right, who we got here? What's, what's your name? Liza. Liza, where are you from? Crates. And Liza, am I, am I here? Am I in the crates? Yes, you're in the crates. Okay, great. Liza, what are your Liza, thoughts? what do you do for a living? Project manager. And what are you managing? What sort of projects? Like dioramas? Technology. Technology. Break that down even further. What technologically do we need manage right now? Video systems, phone systems, you name it. Well, you name it. It's your f***ing job. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do what you do, okay? <laughs> I still don't know what she does, by the way. Okay, it's well, just she... ambiguous after ambiguity. Is a what? Drill down further, Doctor Phil. Okay, Liza. So, when you were a young girl in Rhode Island, what, was your dream to, to to manage technology systems and, and whatever the f you just made up? <laughs> what was your kid dream? I guess, Liza. To be a writer for Saturday Night Live. Holy sh! What was? Who was your favorite cast member? Sal. Let's go. Okay, I think we found where to get our weed from on tonight's. Ship. <laughs> well, Sal is funny enough to be on that show, but he's uh, got a show that I'll say is arguably funnier. Um, now, Liza, what, uh, what about uh, Rhode Island uh, buffets get you so fired up? Or taste menus? Uh, they gross me completely out. Which one? All of them. Okay, so... Wait, 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 wait. All buffets or taste menus and buffets? All buffets. Okay. So you're a taste menu bitch, yeah? <laughs> those either okay now let's dig a little deeper Liza who touched you <laughs> <laughs> that's my go-to uh, question for anyone that sucks the energy out of the interview she she's like a chef and a snow crab touched me <laughs> I'd rather be interviewing the rat chef and ratatouille right now all right, so, okay, so you don't, well, how do you get your uh, proteins and, uh, you know, all that other stuff? At a normal restaurant with a normal menu. Okay, well, that, okay, well, the be oh if you God. haven't seen the buffet upstairs, it's all very normal pretend food, okay? So let's, <laughs> let's just stop, stop throwing so much hate towards upstairs. Now, Liza, uh, who's this to your left? Matthew. Matthew, who, who the f*** are you? <laughs> I'm her husband. It's so funny. All right. You don't have to be a dick about it. I'm just making small talk. <laughs> Matthew, how long you guys have uh, been married? Oh, shit. Now you're testing me. Uh, it's all right. 
years. Matthew. 80, 80 years. How about that? They're 32 years old, but 80 years of marriage. Give it up. Let Matthew Thank take you. a real guess. Let's see what happens. Okay. Matthew, go ahead. <laughs> Buffet or taste menu? What are your thoughts? So I like to use an analogy. Um, so a buffet is kind of like when your kindergartner comes home with finger paint, right? Okay. You hang it up because you have to. After a few days, it's it's coming back. Phil, please go to another person right now. But, <laughs> I'd like to hear it, building? please. I'd like this to hear this through, okay, please. Okay, all right, all right. But, so I'll send you a link to the answer if you want. The taste menu is something that you get from the artist. So I'm with Sal on this one. Oh, there we go. There's wise one for man Sal. right there. Okay. All man. right. I would like to. Okay. So Thanks, all guys. the crate people aren't there. Anybody in the crates got a pro buffet? I want to. We want to hear conflict. We want right a pro here. buffet from the right crates. Right down here, Holy shit, uh, getting, Phil. Uh, this feels like talk swervy. radio. <laughs> it's wild. All right. Here we go. It's uh, trippy. Anyone who are you? We. Oh, I'm Laura. Laura, where are you from? Laura, 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 Laura. Laura. Spell it. Can you spell it? L A U R A. Oh, so Laura. Okay. You've been, okay. Living, oh. you've been living a lie, Lara. Lara, too. Laura. Laura, not to go all spelling beyond you, but use it in a sentence. <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura. <laughs> all right, I don't like your f attitude right now, Laura. <laughs> I'd love to meet Laura if that's all right with you. No. All right, so uh, we're, we're going. First of all, are you having a good time on the ship? I am. What's been your favorite part, Laura? Everything. Good answer. And now, uh, more specifically, buffet or taste menu? I love you, Sal, but I'm going with buffet. I want honesty is all I want. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why do you say it like that? I love you, Sal, but... How about Joe? I love you. I'm going with buffet. <laughs> I do love you, too, Joe, but... That's I'm, too I'm... late. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, guess what? I got the mic, too, Joe, and I want to f***ing hear it, okay? So, Laura, you go right ahead. <laughs> You pick whatever you want, but with the tasting menu, that it's already paid is already set up for you, so you have no choice. Yeah, but yeah, Joe. Let me, go ahead, Sal. I was going to say, but that's part of the specifically designed experience. You trust the artist to give you exactly in the right order, the right portions, you know, everything, and that's the whole point of it, right? So it's like a curated meal as opposed to like a Jackson Pollock meal. I don't even know if that made sense, but you know what I mean. It's it just, didn't. We'll cut this part out. Go ahead, Sal. <laughs> The buffet, I just feel like, is like when you like throw everything at the wall and just see what happens. I don't trust myself at a buffet. We don't need... J God, it's like biting the apple. How about that? And not even really that religious. Well, I'll throw Thanks another, for coming a buffet, out. A buffet... Look, here's the difference. Here's the difference. I'll give you an analogy. A tasting menu is a whiskey flight. We're going to bring you five things. Our bartender thinks that these are the most special tasting whiskeys we have. Oh, it's an experience. We want you to pair this one with a piece of apple and blah, blah, blah. A buffet is an open bar. It's a party. Let's go. A buffet is a barrel of whiskey that you end up going off a, a, a waterfall in. I got to be honest with you. A buffet gets so crazy, I wouldn't be surprised if I get laid in one at some point. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I have sex in a buffet before my life ends. That's how wild it is. I will tell you right now, if you have sex in a buffet before this cruise is over, I will tattoo buffet on my forehead. <laughs> so, please, your move, please people. Please, can we get this done? Please, can we get this done? And that's, and by the way, whoever has sex with me in that buffet, I'll pay your cover. <laughs> that's right. He's... he's <laughs> It's, it's included. included. Thank, All right. you, thank you so much. I didn't want to say it. I know it's, it's included. included. He knows it's included. All right, I'll make the third, fourth, and fifth trips for you. Let me ask you a question. Would we get in trouble if like, you have sex? How about this? Yes. You gonna... <laughs> well, kind of, yes. I'm trying to make a magical experience for everyone. Just calm down. <laughs> okay. Just hear me out. Yeah, okay. If we all teamed up, you could definitely have sex in a buffet without getting in trouble. If we all worked as a team. What do you mean? And I'm like, telling you right now, I'm, uh, here's tasting menu, and here's buffet, and my f is doing this right now. You mean because if we I feel like if we create a human taste buddies wall, and someone elects themselves, we could turn around almost like the scene in Requiem for a Dream, and then you guys could like double dildo a f***ing hot dog or an ice cream cone, and we'll just, no one will see it, and then we'll just, and it's also, you said it before, it's international waters, so. I, I thought you were saying we should have group sex at the buffet. No. That's a real buffet. It's a oh, an orgy. That's an orgy right that there. Guy, that guy with the sanitizer in the yeah. front is going to be but, working uh, overtime. You're right. You're right. 
They keep having sex. They won't stop having sex. <laughs> washy, washy. Lock the doors. <laughs> washy, washy twice. I <laughs> a buffet is like an orgy, and if you've ever been in one, you know that <laughs> you feel you feel sick after. Sometimes you, you sometimes you look over and you're like, oh, they're here. Oh no. Can I throw another example at you? Yes, you can. Oh, I forgot you were here. I forgot you were here, Doctor Phil Ninja. I'm hovering above you. <laughs> hey, there, there's. So another way to look at it, right? Taste menu is scripted, organized, prepared. Uh, buffet's a little more loosey goosey, right? Washy washy, smiley smiley. Whatever the f that guy said to me today, 94 times in six seconds. Washy washy, smiley smiley, and then he. F flick me on the top of my wiener for some reason <laughs> but that's neither here nor there but it's actually here but my point is joe it, <laughs> my point is hold up keep it together self you piss yourself i'm gonna leave i'm jumping into the ocean titanic south you piss yourself i made one promise to myself if sal pisses himself i'm jumping overboard kurt russell style now taste menus prepared would you rather your erotic film be scripted okay the lighting's perfect, the dialogue is not at all off course. Would you rather your erotic film be improvised and the actors get to make their own choices? Yeah. I, I like should have thought I should have written this question down, but it sounded good in my head. Joe? Own choices. I like a nice amateur porn rom. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Private Society. If you haven't heard of it, it's real good. I haven't. <laughs> uh, the uh, yeah, no, I agree with you. Nobody the the tasting menu is the vivid video. Of, uh, uh, of, of food. It's too polished. This video is even an old reference right now. I know. That's a reference to VHS porn. I know. I can't <laughs> yeah, this boat didn't know what you said. Who makes you should have just said it Pornhub or something like that. Who makes like, like produce porn now, though? I don't even know. Why? Who produces porn? I have no idea who produces porn. I don't watch porn. I don't use porn. I don't know anything about porn. Is there porn anybody that could give me a Jameson and Diet? Is that possible? Could that same... Is Peach that rude? make me a stiff vodka soda. Oh, thanks, buddy. Could that same person... Uh, Trevor Karate. <laughs> drive Trevor the fucking Karate. Thank you. We're Trevor, I also have a stiff vodka, uh, Grey Goose and soda uh, with ice. Uh, thank you. Uh, Trevor Karate, everybody. <laughs> Trevor. Trevor Karate. Mine can be stiff, too, Trev. I got to have sex in, behind a <laughs> ice cream station in a few minutes. That's At least one said. thing will be stiff. Okay. We've got Listen. We've got another fan here. We got okay. Sophia from Oregon. She uh, she's a college student. Oh, early. you're in the crates now, dude. I we're, can't even see. We're deep in the right, crates. Okay, yeah. Target style. She's from Oregon. She's a college student. She also works at a vintage shop. Okay, her own vintage shop. And her fears uh, consist of the movie Harry and the Hendersons, <laughs> uh, Eye Contact, and uh, men named Jim from Daytona Beach. Sophia. <laughs> Go ahead with your argument. <laughs> buffet or taste menu? I'm going to say buffet because you can have more of an independent eating experience and you can make friends. Make friends? We haven't heard that part of the pie yet. Make friends? That what sort of weird freaks are you I got to tell you, if I was in a buffet and somebody came over and said, would you like to be my friend, I would run out of the buffet. I agree with you. I agree with <laughs> you, Joseph. Because the buffet is a alone experience. You go in, yes. you draw the personal blinds, and you need it. And you eat so much snow crab. It's a blizzard of crab. And then you just sneak out. You scurry away like a cockroach when someone looks at you. Yeah. You don't make friends at the buffet. No, no. Can yeah. you imagine a couple meeting at the buffet and that's their story they tell their kids? Dad, how did you meet mom? Well, I was putting ketchup on my ice cream. <laughs> and she was doing the same. So we drove home together. So imagine if that's your life, Joe. Hashtag no thanks. We got somebody else over here. We got a gentleman who looks like Shaggy's Coke dealer from Scooby-Doo. Can you give me a Zoinks real quick? Zoinks. Okay, you're fired. You're fired from a job that doesn't exist. What's your name? Hunter. I sure. felt, I, I heard the disdain in that Zoinks. Hunter, where are you from? Virginia. What part? Uh, King nice George. Time. Never heard of it. What do you do, Hunter? <laughs> I'm a college student, and I currently work at a Chick-fil-A. Let's go. Wow. Oh, we, bat we battled Chick-fil-A. Have we battled Chick-fil-A? Have we battled Chick-fil-A? Anyone remember what it went up against? Chipotle. Versus Chipotle. Who had, who, uh, he had Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick All right, thanks. I knew, I knew that. 
Yeah, that terrible was, fries. Terrible fries. That was where we agreed. That was where we agreed before we recorded that we wouldn't get into any of the politics of Chick Fil A. We, <laughs> we were just going to argue the food. Actually, tomorrow's show is Chick Fil A versus Bud Light. Be here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's continue with uh, the so, person. The so Hunter, you're in college. First of all, what's it like to be in college post Cove? Uh, <laughs> that's COVID for the for the slang uh, people. Right, right. Thank you, thank you. Um, anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So high school was pretty pretty crazy, but then going straight to college and doing online was pretty simple because we were online. Let's get back to the original question, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop staring into his mustache that's just begging to grow in fully. <laughs> that's what I miss about college: is facial and pubic hair just battling it out for domination. It's like pubes are like, we got this. And facial hair is like, well, well, hold up. Hold up a second. I'm trying to get into a bar right now and drive my dad's Chevy Camaro. But also, I'd love to play some Uno and finger a girl in the back of a handicap bus. All right, I digress. Hunter, what's your, uh, what's your favorite food at the buffet or tasting menu? Yeah, it's definitely not the buffet. It's tasting menu. Okay. I, I was at a buffet one time. It was somewhere in Pennsylvania uh, visiting my grandparents. But was it Old Country? I, I Wait, was it Old Country Buffet? That was our big change. It was that in was Bethlehem, mine. Pennsylvania. Okay. Bethlehem, no, no, no. Was the p no. Thank you for saying Pennsylvania. We thought you, the buffet was next to the manger. Yeah. He thought I was asking if the part of Pennsylvania he was in was named Old Country Buffet. And he goes, no, no, no. It's called Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. If there's an Old Country Buffet, Pennsylvania, we are getting on dinghies four at a time, and we're going there right now. What, what's that? Is what? No, no, no. Oh, well, I don't. There might have been, but I, I, we had old country buffet. Why? Why do they all have the word country in it? Yeah. It's because they. That's how they get you. <laughs> Sir, get was you. the name of the buffet old country buffet? It was an Asian buffet. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No reason to bring race into this. <laughs> or maybe there is. We'll be right back. My old country. <laughs> we'll keep it right here, Sal. Go ahead. We'll right <laughs> the "We'll be right back" is the best first thing I've ever heard in my life. Mine That's was what I old... say at the buffet. Go ahead, Sal. <laughs> Mine was an old country buffet and uh, primarily Asian run, so I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Really? Are you kidding? No. You had an old country buffet in New York? I thought it was only like yeah, Jersey, yeah. Pennsylvania. I didn't yeah. know it got up that far. Yeah, so. Oh. Really? Michigan. What? Who's got... Dr. Phil, this will, this will be fun. This will yep. be fun because we have to wind down in a minute. Ninja but, Phil, please. Ninja Phil. Ninja please. Phil. Yep. This will be really fun. Walking right down the who's base got, right here. Here we go. Who's got a great name of a buffet they went to when they were young? That, well, no, no, no. Don't yell. No, no don't no. yell it out. Raise your hand in a fashion. Raise your hand you know if you've got, got a something. great name of a buffet that can rival King's Table and and and. Let Phil me get a few. What is it? Hold on, don't yell it out. He'll, he's, he has a mic with Oh, hey, you guys are getting good. a taste now. Back. You guys are getting a taste. I'm going to get three in my ear, and then I'm going to say it out loud. That's what she said. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Okay, so far I'm two for two, guys. This is going to be tough. What's Okay, one more here. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a little long for my taste. Yeah. <laughs> Any more? We got one in the very back. Who are you? Okay, all right here. What's your name? Barbara. Barbara, where are you from? Daytona. Daytona. Do you know Jim? No, I don't know. Jim. Yo, there's a lot of good buffets I, in Daytona. I, I, I haven't met him at the buffet. Okay, now, uh, Barbara, what's the name of the crazy buffet name in Daytona? We got two more options, but I decided to go with you because I like your mojo. So don't fuck this up, okay? <laughs> Barbara, what's the name of the... If you want to have sex, the Joy Luck Buffet might help. Yeah! The Joy Luck Buffet? The oh, joy wow. Luck you see what they did there? You tell me that's not the devil putting the words joy and luck in the buffet name? They're playing They're like, come to me. They're come, joy, luck abound. Free joy and luck no. for $9. They're playing up on the Joy Luck Club. That was very popular in the 90s. And that's what, that's what it play. is. They're playing up on the Joy Luck Club for this the all-you-can-eat buffet. Right. The Thank guy you, back here that yelled, don't yell it out. Wait till he comes to you with the mic. Where are you, sir? But there was somebody over here that was very excited. Where? And uh, by the way, somebody yelled CeCe's Pizza. A just a an abomination. Yeah, do you have one? An abomination. Well, first of all, honestly, every place is a buffet, if you believe. <laughs> if you believe. There you are, Peter. That is Not true. to quote Hook. <laughs> It is very true. I also heard Big Pants in Chowtown as I was wandering through the crowd. Wait, Chowtown? Yeah, That's the one you went with, not Big Pants? Big it's Pants. It's Chowtown. It totally makes sense. You go right Big over Pants. Big, pa Big Pants. It's like, they're calling it like they see it. Where's yeah. Big Pants? Who had Big Pants? I'm going to her right over here. Big Pants. Where are you from? What do you do? What scares you? 
<laughs> Let's start with your fears. What's your big? What's your name? My name is Emily. Emily, what's your biggest fear? Oh my goodness. Um, Puppets. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, and where are you from? Minnesota. Cool. And uh, Big Pants is located where exactly? It's in Brainerd, Minnesota. Okay. And what's the be what about Big Pants keeps the customers uh, just coming uh, back? Uh, what keeps them coming? Well, it was um, like an old country. Then it went to Golden Corral. And then it went to Big Pants. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Not to interrupt, Dr. Phil. Please, it's your show. I forgot to bring up the goat. Golden Corral. Yeah. Thanks, Emily. Bro. Chocolate waterfall. Fried chicken and steak. I mean, what are we even talking about here? Yeah, you can dip your balls in the marinara there. Don't quote me on that. But it's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Listen to this. I, I, as someone who has literally been 100 pounds, I fluctuate. I worry about my health. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't have self-control. They call it the golden corral. What? Who what is and a corral? what else do you corral? What is a corral? It's not what it is. It's a verb, bro, isn't yeah. it? You corral people. Yeah. You corral they cattle. Corral, they corral fried chicken and chocolate sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and they're feeding it to you. Corral me. is like a farm term. Pat, it Pat is. Pat Oswalt used to have a joke about Golden Corral, about how aggressive it was. And he would do a commercial and he would go, doors are locked from the outside, pussy. <laughs> because it truly is. They're like, dude, you're in. This is it. This yeah, it's like it. that scene in Bronx Tales. Like, now you can't leave. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I love Golden Corral. One of the few buffets I've ever been to that slices ham. Oh, God, I want a Golden Corral. Why did right you now. just f ejaculate in your khakis? Hold on. For Shh. sliced ham. Shh. Shh. You can get sliced ham everywhere not, not yet. in the world. Oh, not yet. They have a sliced ham joint on Mars. You were like, that's why I love it. No. It's the only place no, I'm I can get sliced ham. No, no, no. Carved ham. Carving station ham. Off the bone. On the bone that they're carving off the bone ham. Just Gold shut the, corral. Just shut the f*** up, man. You guys, I got one more back here, if you don't mind. Okay. Special gentleman. Tell me where you're finding bone in ham. I'm listening. Most, uh, most uh, buffets in Vegas. Not true. Not true. true. Every, everyone I've ever been to has carved ham. Not true. Look. Carved ham. What they don't have is market price seafood catch for $11. That's what they don't have. You're sitting there. You know what? You want to believe it's king crab. You want to believe you're a king. You want to it's believe you're a king crab. and this is we, your table. We established it's snow crab. I know. I'm I just spoke. I, well, no. That's and by the I, way. That's what I'm leaning in on. You're getting quality. That's how you make a joke. Yeah, yeah. You, you're getting. <laughs> Listen, don't you dare. I'll tell you There's... right now, it hasn't gotten salty yet. It's, it's starting to. You're getting, listen to me, you're getting quality eats in Vegas because they're making it back at the tables. So they're giving you quality eats at the buffet. <sighs> Not on Fremont Street. Yeah. That's where I go. Well, they, I, I go to Fremont. They, that's the problem with Vegas. They're not expecting an animal like me who will go into the casino, eat at the buffet, and then just leave. Wait, why did, you just, call, wait, why did you just call yourself an animal? Because I am. Fair point, Dr. Phil. We got Christopher from New Jersey. Uh, he's retired. Shout out to Jersey. He's retired from 18... I'm totally going to the buffet after this. Oh, me I, it's, I'm, I'm starving. It's like, I, I got to get the buffet. It's so fun. I'm yeah, so hungry right now. I'm going to dip some PB&J and ranch and call my stepdad. Christopher... <laughs> Christopher, what? you're from Jersey. You retired from AT&T. Uh, and and what's, your, what's your favorite part, first of all, about this cruise? Uh, the fact that uh, there's a lot of booze everywhere. A lot of booze everywhere. I think we can all relate to that. Make some the noise. The booze buffet, I'm with you. Uh, Christopher, uh, you might be closing this out, but regardless, buffet or taste menu, what's got you, what's got you the most turned on? Uh, it's got to be the buffet because the food's always hot and fresh. But Wait, you're so wrong, man. You should not have spoken for buffet. Let me jump on this right quick. He's the food is always hot and fresh is the opposite of the experience at a buffet. They leave it out until it's gone. And if something wasn't popular, you don't know how long it's under that 60-watt bulb, my friend. And let me tell you what accumulates under 60-watt bulbs. Bacteria, okay? So hot and oh, fresh... Oh, no, 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 that's bullshit. No, no, no. It does bacteria. Hot and not fresh... No, yeah, he, maybe you catch the guy uh, when he's bringing it out, but, but it's, at that way, point, it's like a blue light special way, at Kmart. The lack, are, it's like Black Friday when the, the guy lack, brings it out. You can lack, lose a 
tooth. By the way, the lack of the lack of hot and fresh is what makes a buffet awesome. A tasting menu when is, they make each oh, plate. A tasting, menu, a tasting menu is a woman that's done her makeup for an hour and put on a silky dress no, and been like, where are we going? Look at me. Uh, 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 uh. I'm so special. You're talking a about buffet the is a woman saying, do you want to f*** or not? Okay, say what you want, but I prefer a special woman. I don't like my women special. Someone comes I with like them under a heat lamp. If, if so <laughs> <laughs> 75 watts or greater only. If someone came up to me and said, you know, I, I like you and I, I'm, I feel like I'm a special person that could give something back to you, I'd say, cool. If someone came up to me and said, do you want to f*** or not? I would take pause. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to wrap this up. Do we have time for one more super fast? I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Right oh, who, here, right here. Yeah, I'm coming Phil, up. Dr. I'm coming up. Ninja First of all, Phil. Christopher said in Jersey, the buffet he went to was called Hung Lee. <laughs> not, to, <laughs> not to be confused with Chun Lee from Street Fighter, but so similar food selection. That was so weird, dude. You appeared from the shadows. Sorry. And also, you're all dressed in white and you were backlit, <laughs> and it just looked like the f***ing second coming of Dr. Phil right now. It's amazing how this shirt fits my body, too. F*** you, Joe. All right. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah. The Asian buffet did a play, a racist play on the name. That's what Christopher said. Hung Lee. Yep. That's f up. No, why do you? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. It could very well genuinely be Hung Lee, and your racist projection is making that happen. Good call, Sal. Okay, okay so Phil. a guy named Lee with a huge dong owns it. Yeah. Or it's racist. That's what not, are the, that, that's not what's that like far-fetched. I know two of those guys with buffets. All right. <laughs> Now, let me a uh, follow-up question. Riddle me this. Is it a bold move to name your buffet after your own self? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like Joe DeRose. Would you go eat at Joe DeRose's buffet? No. Joey Rose's? Joe he already Rose's. Newsflash, Dr. Phil. He f***ing did it already. By the way, at Joey Rose's, we don't allow substitutions, so it's a tasting menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's all you needed Let's to hear. Go. Now Let's we go to the phones. Go. Come on! I understand, but just base it on what we're saying here. He's living a lie up here. Who are I'm you, not, Joe? I love a buffet. No, you don't. You have. You know what you told. You know what? You know what he has at Joey Rose's? Get down down one seventy nine Rivington. One seven four Rivington. One seventy four Rivington. Oh, that, that was bad. And Lower East Side, you would have been in a sex shop. Here's the thing. He. He keeps his menu to eight sandwiches. No, there's for the same sandwiches. price. You you added it later. We've added, yeah. So yeah. it's the same menu. It's a small menu on purpose because it's manageable, and he wants to do small amounts of food well for the same price. So that also is akin to a prefix menu. So this guy's sitting up here for the last ninety minutes of your time, lying to your f face because his business model is a f tasting menu. Or. Our sandwiches are so wonderfully placed, it's like eating at a buffet because you could just keep buying them and it's still Keep affordable. buying them. Did you hear that? Here's what he wants you to do. He wants you, you know, here's what I want you to do. I want you to book a trip to New York City. All right, take, hold on. I want you to go to 174 <laughs> Rivington Avenue. I want you to order one sandwich and eat all the f***ing other sandwiches. And don't listen to him when he says stop. It's shit's a buffet. It's what he loves. That's the best way to do it. You go in there, you eat all his ham, you eat all his bread, and if he says anything, text me. Ham, what do you think we're ham, what do you think we're so kind of fancy restaurant? <laughs> uh I it, say again? What? <laughs> wow. Mic drop. <laughs> it's weird. When you bake it fresh every morning and it's in demand, it runs out sometimes. Those are the breaks. Maybe oh. get there at a reasonable hour and don't stumble in shit-faced at 1.15 in the You're morning. You're right. He's right. He's right. Good thing his place is not a buffet or what you would have got your f bread. And I'll say this. I'll say this to this audience right now. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I got to agree with both of them. Who the f*** are you? <laughs> We'll be right back. All right. Hold on. Close us out right here. Close us right, here out we go. real Last fast. Person. We got to go. We What's gotta your go. name? Lindsay. Lindsay, where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Buffet. I feel like we got shout out. I think we got uh, some buffet lovers from the Carolinas. Do they love taste menus more or do they get more fired up to attend a buffet? Personally, I like the taste menus. Good. And it comes down to seasoning for me. If you go to any kind of buffet, they season to the masses. 
and not for a personal taste. So Sodium like, out the yin yang there, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> so a, ta menu, a tasting menu is all about like the chef and how it should be prepared. Okay. High maintenance. Right. Yes, high maintenance. Absolutely. You're, that's You're the whole point. You sit down. You have none of the maintenance. That's they not, do the high maintenance for you. Yep. That's not a bad closing point. And a point we hadn't heard Thank yet. Thank you. And I Sal, think we had a very nice battle. Sal, uh, sodium out the yin yang, not to be confused with the other establishment, sodium in the Hung Lee, which is in <laughs> New Jersey. Just ask Christopher Robin. <laughs> you go and into so that. You, listen, you guys go into that Hung Lee, you're coming out with a very salty mouth. Yes. Which is why. What? 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 Hey, we'll be right back. It's. <laughs> All right, folks, it's time for Humble Pie. Give it up for Adam Ray, everybody. The best. No, 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 no. Best. Really give it up for Adam Ray. Love Adam Ray. I love Sal. I love Joe. I love you guys. Best week of my life. I love you guys. <laughs> I literally left till I had a headache. I'll see you at the buffet. Yeah. All right, folks, it's time for <laughs> Humble Pie. It's time for Humble Pie. We got to do this quick. We got to get out of here. There's another show. Well, you, we didn't even tell them. We, we didn't tweet anything. You are the judges. If you yes. were here last time, I love you so much. You're the love funniest you, person You're I the know. Best, okay. You guys are the judges. So, look. Yes. In closing argument, I know that you came in here, and look, I understand, I understand the pros of a buffet, but I highlighted some of the cons. And that's, a, that's what we do here on this show. You know, we talk about the yin and the yang of it and the pros and the cons. I just wanted to come in here and present a solid argument, just a solid debate, and I think I did that. So if you came in loving a buffet, it's not really about what you loved. It's about the points we made and you judge on that. So all I'm saying is, you cheer when we say tasting menu. Okay, guys, now that Sal has sucked up to all of you, because he knows he's going to lose, it's obvious. You think so? All right, all right. Yo, my tasting, many people scream as loud as you've ever had. No, noise. no, stop it! Nice. They don't know that. They're already going to do that. All right, ready? Tasting menu. Very strong. Very strong. Everyone knows the person, one you do first loses. Everyone knows that. So go ahead, go ahead with your underhanded ways. Buffet? <laughs> Dude. It might be. I'm not kidding. Is it a tie? I thought, I thought buffet was a lot of it. We could do it again. I, honestly, I, I swear to, I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God, I think it might be a t tie. I Hold think on. it's the f thing behind your ear, but whatever. <laughs> Shay, you let us know what you think. Tasting menu. Very strong. Very strong. Buffet. <laughs> Buffet. I just got to give a shout out to my Tasting Menu people. Thank you for streaming like that. Thank you so much. Guys, we love all of you. Thank you for supporting this show from the very beginning. We couldn't do it without you. You guys are the greatest. You're the greatest. We mean it. We love you so much. And I still love you, babe. I love you, too. That was so much fun. Thank you guys so much.